So in today's video, we are going to create a very simple Polkadot pattern swatch. And to do this, we simply start off by creating a circle in any size. So pick the ellipse tool, hold down the shift key to make a circle and create a circle. Then pick the selection tool and while having the circle selected, go to the top of the screen and make sure this link is on and then make this circle 60 pixels. Obviously, you can pick any size you want that fits your canvas size. Just remember the size. After creating this circle, hold down the Alt key to duplicate, make a copy of this circle, hold down the Shift key to move it in a straight line and place it right next to the first circle. Now we need to do this five more times. So a simple way to repeat this step is simply by clicking Ctrl D five times. One, two, three, four, five. We are creating the dots this way to easily control the distance between the dots we are going to use. So because we know that the circles are 60 pixels wide, we know that two of them are 120 pixels. And we need to delete these two and these two, creating a 120 pixels wide space between the dots. Now select all the dots, select the stroke and disable the stroke. Then select the first dot, select the fill and give this fill a color that you like. Then select the next dot and give this dot another color. Then select the third dot and give this dot a third color. You can choose any color that you like. I'm going for some kind of American theme and here are the hex codes. After coloring your dots, select all the dots Go to Object, go to Pattern and select Make. Here we need to adjust the spacing of our dots. To do this, go to Size Tile to Art. And we know that the spacing between our dots is 120 pixels. Therefore, we also want 120 pixels at horizontal spacing and vertical spacing. And if you just want straight rows like this, you can simply click Done now. But to get a more interesting look, we can go to the tile type, click on the drop down and select brick by row. Now we can simply click done. After this, we can simply delete our dots, create a shape that we want to apply our pattern to and select our pattern in the pattern swatches. And don't worry if you get white lines like this, they will disappear when you export your pattern. Thank you for watching.